Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. I am Akshay Parmar, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology in IT ICT Department. Welcome back to the video tutorial series of the Internet of Things. Right? In this today's session, we are going to discuss about in fog computing. So this is a new term for you. Right? Fog computing. Right? So we have discussed the cloud computing in brief in our previous session. From its models, from the deployment models to the selection criteria. We have seen all of this in our previous session. In this session, we are going to discuss about the fog computing and some of the security aspects. Right? So in this today's session, we are going to discuss about in fog computing. Right? So what is the working principle? The how that fog computing is working? The concept of the fog and the cloud computing that we are going to discuss. Right? So that is a really thin line between them two. Right? So, so there is a there is a little different between the fog computing and the cloud computing. That we are going to discuss that too. And we are going to discuss about the benefits of the fog computing. Right? After that, we will discuss about some of the cloud computing. Uh, uh, after that, we are going to discuss about some of the cloud computing security aspect, such as software security, infrastructure security, storage security, and the network security. Right? So we are going to, we are going to discuss that security aspects too. Right? So let's begin with the fog computing. Right? But before digging down into the fog computing, let's discuss about the basic of the IoT. Right? So IoT is all about the data. Right? So we are sensing the data from the sensory node. We are storing the data. We are analyzing the data. And with the help of that, we are taking some kind of precautionary step for that too. Right? So the data is the foremost and fundamental thing into the IoT. Right? And the, the data, whenever we are sensing the data and the very frequently, and the number of the sensor is really huge. Right? So at that time, the data will be the B. Right? So the factors that are affected data are the four ways. The variety, velocity, veracity, and the volume. Right? So that are the four ways on which the data is affected. Right? And the, all the IoT application requires an instant and uh, instant analysis and the action. Right? If you can uh, you can analyze the data really quick. Right? So where if you are analyzing the data very quick, then you can perform and you can take the action. You can take precautionary steps with regards to that very quickly. Right? So all the IoT application requires an instant analysis and the action. Right? So with the help of that, we can take the precautionary step with respect to that. For an example, whenever someone is coming into the uh, room, right? So at that time, the light must be on real instant, right? So at that time, the sensor is sensing that someone is coming there, right? And after that, after sensing the data, if that particular system is not analyzed the data really quick, right? So then the uh, there, there will be a delay to turning on the light, right? So that is an uh, example. That is a really small example for that, right? After that, another example is the in the manufacturing plant, right? So for the quality assurance that manufacturing or the industry giants are using an IoT systems, right? So at that time, if as a, any erroneous uh, product is there, and if there, there, there is a leak behind to analyze the data really quick, right? So then they cannot take a precautionary step very instantly, and that erroneous product will be the came into the market, right? And that will be compromise that revenue of that particular product, right? So most of the time. The action would be corrective in the nature. It would be business critical, right? In case the data volume is really high and it reaches to the cloud after some delay, right? So at that time, we may lose the opportunity to use the data appropriately, right? So we have taken an example of that particular quality assurance, right? So if that data is really used, right? So while you are transferring the data from local device to the uh, cloud, right? From the sensory node, the sensor has sent it sense that data right so from that sense data if we are transferring the data to the cloud right so it will take some time right so it will be reached to the cloud after some time delay right and if that is, is happening we may lose the opportunity to use that data really effectively right in such cases the fog computing serves the solution right so here the fog computing is coming to the market right so in the such cases the fog computing service the serves that so solution right so here at the edge devices, that processing task is done, right? So, at the edge devices, the fog computing is nearer to the sensory node where the data is stored, right? So, it is nearer to the storage location, right? So, if we can analyze the data near to the data storage location, then it will be easy to operate that thing, right? And we can shorten out the data, 
right after sorting out and analyzing the data we can transfer that only the important data to the cloud right so by that we can reduce that size of the data as well as we can uh, we can save the time to take an appropriate decision and we can save the time for the analysis task too right and if we are saving that time for the analysis then we are doing that analysis task really quick right so we can take an appropriate uh, precautionary step really quick right so by that that iot application will work faster right so that's how the fog computing is working right the most sensitive data should be analyzed in the area closer to the place where it is generating right so we are uh, analyzing the data at the fog computing right so which is nearer to the data wherever it is stored right with the fog computing it is possible right using the fog computing we can process that data locally and avoid and the avoid the trouble by not sending the data directly to the cloud right first of all we are storing the data and analyzing the data we are we are doing some kind of analysis there we are processing the data there right and after that we are sending that only the important data the sorted data to the cloud only right the response much faster here in the fog computing the response is much faster because the data is moving locally so the data travel is reduced considerably right and because of that the data is travel less then the data is transfer speed is really higher right so in this process the data in the milliseconds right so that's how that fog computing is working really faster only the required data will be the sent to the cloud itself right this will be based on the storage requirement and the guidelines the predictive analysis can also be carried out with the data stored into the cloud the fog is below cloud right so first of all the fog is below cloud and above that storage location and the sensory nodes right the fog is below cloud which means it is closer to the element that is generating the data right in our case the sensory nodes is there right so fog is below the cloud which is mean that it is closer to the element that are generating the data right after analysis the data stored is pushed on to the cloud the result in increased efficiency and safety both physical and the asset safety right some examples where the faster response time is extremely important are the factory or the manufacturing lines or in the gas tube lines and the fault analysis on flight diagnosis and the healthcare industry right so at that time we need a really quick response time and really quick analysis task too right so at that time we can use that fog computing there let's see the working of the fog computing right so here the sensor or the device are generating the data and transmit it to the middle layer right which is closer to the data source right so here the fog source is fog nodes is there right so the sensory nodes right so in our case the car the traffic signal the camera and all are the sensor or the device which are generating the data right so they are transferring the data to the middle layer right in our case that is an fog node right which are closer to the data sources right this nodes in the middle layer are capable of handling that data right so that fog nodes are capable for handling that data this requires that minimum power and laser resources right and all that data needs not to go to cloud directly right at the instant right so the fog fog nodes are process that data and they can handle that data on the really less power requirement and with the help of the laser resources you can work with that right and all that data do not need to directly transfer to the cloud instantly right also the sensitive sensitive data gets processed very fast which results in an instant response right fog is not meant for the hefty storage it is still the cloud that does the task storing with the big data right fog is just an intermediately layer for the fast faster data processing and the faster response time right so fog is not meant for the hefty storage right so keep in mind that it is still a cloud that doesn't that does the task for storing that data the storing that big data right so let's see the concept of the fog nodes and the cloud nodes right it receives the data feed from the sensor in the real time right so fog nodes are receiving the data feed from that sensor in the real time 
the response time is minimal ideally in the milliseconds through right so for computing is transit the where the data is stored for the limited time only right so for computing is a transit where the data is stored for the limited time only the data is then sent to the cloud as the summary it is important to note that the not all the data goes to the cloud right the only the process and the important data is transferred from fog nodes to the cloud right so it the, at the cloud computing platform it receives the data summary from the cloud from the fog itself right the data prediction the data analysis the data storage all are the things that take place on the cloud computing platforms right so there is a basic different between the fog computing and the cloud computing right so let's see the benefits of the fog computing model right so with the help of the fog computing model it requires a minimal amount of the data right the fog computing offers a minimal amount of the data transfer to the cloud right it reduces the reduced bandwidth consumption right the fog nodes are using the reduced bandwidth consumption that is using the reduced data latency it improves the data security when the limited data goes onto the cloud right if we are sending that limited data to the cloud then it is easier to protect the data the lesser data right immediate processing of the data in the real time right this is much needed in the industrial application right so that are the major advantage or benefits of the fog computing let's see the basic difference between that edge and the fog computing right both the fog and the edge are considered with the computing capabilities to be executed locally before passing it to the cloud right both the edge and the fog computing aim at the reducing complete dependency on to the cloud to perform computation analyzing data and processing it at the cloud is to be avoided right both this reduce the time delay for making faster decision for the real time application the main difference between the edge in the fog computing is where the data processing take place right so the the, the major difference between that edge and fog is only the data processing place right edge computing is the computing carried out at the device itself right where the sensor are considered connected right at the edge computing the computing carried out at the device itself where the sensors are connected but in the fog computing the data processing is moved to the processor that are connected to the local area network making it little farther from the sensor and actuator right that in the edge computing that computing is carried out on the device itself where in the fog computing the data is data processing is moved to the processor right so that is a basic difference between that edge computing and the fog computing but remember that thing the edge and the fog computing is take place before the cloud computing right so that is a basic difference between the edge and the fog computing let discuss about uh, let discuss about some of the security aspect regards to the cloud computing right the security of that any computing platform includes that cloud computing depend on the software security infrastructure security storage security and the network security right right if any of that is compromised it would result in security violation and could cause and damages right let us discuss each of that security aspect briefly one by one right so let's begin with an software security right software is a core component and it is playing the vital role in the presenting and ensuring that secure environment right if there is a defect created or generated during the development phase it is a software security threat right so while developing in the development phase if the defect is created or generated that is called and software security threat right so defect which kind of defect right so we have seen that the defect is there right so which kind of defect is there which kind of defect is considered as a software security threat right so defect such as simple software implementation defect the memory allocation the design issues and the exception handling and all the contribute to the security issues right this can be ensured by complete and comprehensive testing carried out at the all the stages right so we can overcome that software security by ensuring by the complete and comprehensive testing carried out at the all the stages right so that's about a software security threat after that the infrastructure security is there right so making sure that the infrastructure provided by the cloud service provider is 
safe is the must thing must needed thing right the third party could also be contributed to the infrastructure it is extremely important to check that security vulnerabilities with the infrastructure all the infrastructure related guidance should be mentioned clearly in the agreement and it should be made transparent to the customer also right if the data is damaged everything is damaged and lost right hence the care should be taken to protect the infrastructure right so that are the major uh, security aspect related to infrastructure security right the third portion is in storage security right it is an important to inform the who owns that data and the location where it is stored the data leak snooping malware attacks all that things are the uh, threat to the stored data and can be listed under the storage security right so whenever the data vulnerability and the uh, attacks which are performed on the storage location is come under the security threats right the appropriate how so how can you handle that thing by using an appropriate antivirus software and periodic monitor we can have protect our data from, from the secure from the storage location after that the network security right so data is stored into the cloud with the help of the internet and hence all the network threats becomes impossible right so that are the major security threats with regards to cloud computing let's summarize the what do you mean by the cloud computing and how can you select its service provider right the cloud computing has become one of the most used technology component in the modern day applications which is not only the provider storage but which is not only provides that storage but also supports in data analytics and processing too right the cloud service could be any one of the following right the software as a service right so we have seen that software as a service in which the complete software application as a service is provided to the user by the service provider the another type is a platform as a service the pass the which is providing us a development tool apis library and all that things will be divided by the cloud service provider user have to build manage and maintain the application only right so the mainly the developer are using that platform as a service the third type is an infrastructure as a service right the user should be provided with a virtual machine support where the user does not need to know or worry about the infrastructure everything should be taken care by the service provider and user will be managed the machine only right select the os and underlying the application right so there are and after that there are the three deployment models too right that, that is generally used for them as a public private and hybrid cloud right so private cloud deployment model can be opted wherever the confidentiality matters the most right where it comes to the public cloud deployment model the cloud service provider owns the all the resources which includes the hardware infrastructure and the software right the cloud service provider will take care of all the resource management right after that in the term of the hybrid development model it is a mix of both the public as well as the private deployment model right in this approach the resource offered and managed are both in house and the third party ways right so there are many challenges one could face while opting for the cloud storage with the iot application some of the these are follows right the privacy and the security and with cost migration and the portability reliability and availability costing data ownership expertise and all the things that we are facing the difficulties so while selecting that cloud right so selecting a cloud service provider is not that easy as you are assuming right so many parameters to be considered before choosing that best option while you are choosing a cloud service provider right with the fog computing it becomes possible to analyze the data at the place closer to where it is generated the fog computing provides the following advantage the minimal amount of the data sent to the cloud reduce bandwidth consumption reduce data latency improve data security the immediate processing of the data and all are the benefits of the fog computing right so in this session we have seen that fog computing edge computing the difference between that fog and the edge computing the difference between the fog computing and the cloud computing and after that we have seen some of the security aspect with respect to the cloud computing too right so that's all about today's session thank you for the watching